Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. His most successful picks career-wise. Well, level two, hit here. Uh, okay, there, Jiu does get it. Nice little handshake. Ascaria is going to try to get the knockup, but Guma forced to flash away. Jiu does eat a turret shot now, and now is getting in there. And one more auto would do it. Can he get in range? But no, the Q's gonna come in from the Renata, and even with the lick, maybe. No, he's gonna get the last auto, and that will be first blood. Going to Karia as Peter immediately trades it back. Really good play. Completely outclassed like we saw Chovy do to Yehu. This whole draft falls apart. Zoner. Tries to stick around to get this ward, and in the 2v2, this should favor Faker and Owner, as now Kalmi's eating a huge amount of damage himself, and Sylvie now has to flash away. Q lands from Owner, and that is just a straight up kill. Gets a little bit of help from Faker, and now Owner's coming back. He's angry, and he's not even looking. Kalmi just dies and accepts his fate. The level four Sejuani gank, I mean, Sylvie does not have flash, and yes, Faker doesn't either, but he can just run north as now it all comes down and Call Me is going to try to take him out, and he does, and now the interrupt on the owner, but he still gets that E down, and Sylvie is not able to do much, unless owner sticks around. Might have a little scuffle. Miss on the Sonic Wave now, but Flail does. Uh, a lot of matchups end up that way against Oriana, so. Now Q is going to connect here on the Sylvie as the action does not stop in this early game. Here comes Karia, just going to dive onto two people. There's no level six for them, but he's got it as Devour comes through. And now Jiu is in a lot of trouble as Owner is getting pretty low. The bailout comes in and actually Jiu is fine for just a little bit. As now we get another official dive, but it's denied as the Lick is going to get the kill from Karia. And we got a little two on two action now. Peter and Kwame on the run. And meanwhile, Faker just takes... Not able to come down here and make an impact on this play just yet. He's waiting to maybe look to do it, but they know he's missing mid. Uh, yeah. And now he's going to jump on in. He does have his ult, I believe. Maybe not. Just going to auto him down. The E is good enough. But now Karia, a nice little dodge sidestep here from Kalmi. And Peter's blocking the lick. And there's no devour at the moment. Maybe one more blick. Blick? One more lick for Inongshim. Well, the bottom lane isn't winning, Valdez, and that's where I was going back to. Is like, yeah, they're like, you wouldn't put Senna into Kalista. Tom can't Senna into Kalista. We've seen teams try to do that. You got to ban that and then pick the Senna. But Carry is pretty good. His owner just keeps pushing this. This yeah, is going to land the kick though, and he's got some help as well. The roam up from their bottom lane, Guma, right here, and it's going to help out in that one. Going to be Chemtech Soul. Neither Valdez. We have that confirmed yeah. early, so I think the action will just continue here. Kalmi just got back to lane. And Sylvie just got his ult back, though. Might be able to punish Faker here, who does have his flash, but uh, doesn't have anywhere really to run. And he's just going to run into the turret instead. And Sylvie will pick up the kill. Yeah, Faker looked really You can't win this matchup, then Tristana just does not end up doing anything. Well. I'm going to try to play on to Zeus here underneath the turret as we'll hold the gold card. But Sylvie is tanking up the turret as now we got TP coming in. And Zeus is burning down a bit. But now with Faker and Karia making their way into this fight, it's looking pretty good for the side of T1 as Dundon. He is Udir. But not too easy to run away from the Tom Ken. So Missile Dive comes through. One more lick will be dodged. And he will not get stunned up because of that dodge. Nicely done by Dundon to get away. Yeah, nice escape from him. He is Udir after all, very good at escaping, but Faker did not have his ult when he eventually teleported in. It's okay, he does now. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's what I was going to say, was he didn't have his ult there to catch him, but he does now, and also perfect time. I think he is in some trouble, especially if Sylvie does come through the jungle here. Uh, although he might be able to execute. I think he might, and okay, Peter. It's looking pretty likely that he gets out here. Although Peter is really fast, <laughs> but so is Oriana after all. Faker's going to get away and just gets executed down off to, after taking the turret. Meanwhile, they're getting a Chemtech Drake. As Nongshim extremely aggressive plays and turn them around, and they're not faltering. Hunters going in. They don't really have any vision, but they don't seem to care. Handshake comes through on a Peter as owner's basically just trying to decide if he wants to go for a little insect play or not. Decides on no, Faker in a bit of trouble here 
as they might have the burst damage. He does have arm guard already, but a uh, bit of help from Senna, perhaps? No, this is, oh, well, Utter's gonna get on over, and now he gets the kick onto the Tristana, and Sejuani is barely gonna have enough damage. Sylvie will take him out. Call me. Will be traded back, though. Yeah, Owner basically 1v1ing the Tristana there as uh, Faker will escape. Owner has five kills this game. He's sitting on a Sundered Sky and just some additional health and a long sword. The turret in the inner bottom turret as well. So he's feeling pretty good about his situation. He's had mostly a free game, although he has been ganked quite a lot. As now he's trying to go 1v1 versus Call Me here. One more card should do it, and that it will <laughs> as Zeus takes him down. Yeah, he's just that far behind. Cannot fight this. What kind of night it is for them? <laughs> so it's a weird night. It's not quietly into that weird night. It's a popcorn room. night. It's a popcorn night. Good night to have popcorn in the audience. As uh, the gold lead uh -oh. growing. Nice flash, at least, to get away from that one. But now we got TP's galore. Everybody's joining in this one. As, oh god, Comey is tanking all of the damage. Really nice ult on the two of them, though. But the Devourer comes through onto Zeus. He will survive as they take out Comey. And they will take out the Kalista as well. And immediately the fight is turned around. The Devourer coming in huge here. And T1, of course, with the very large wallets at the moment. Can they take out Zeus? The answer is no. And that is a clean ace for T1. Risk team fight there. Two item Kalista. And Karia is a Omega tank at the moment. Like, <laughs> he's got two armor items. They don't have AP damage outside of Udyr as Bailout comes out. Just kind of laughable at this point. Call Me is going to avoid the loyalty program. And uh, yeah, they're just kind of putting them out of their misery. T1 not wasting any time with this one. As uh, maybe Faker. Oh god, he just <laughs> is going to get devoured. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, call me just sad by himself in the fountain. T1 should be able to take this first game in about 23 minutes. The most T1 game I've ever feel, I feel like I've seen, Valdez. Just so much coordination. Look at that healing. Jesus. The healing is crazy. Down goes the Nexus. Every time you think you've got him, every time you think you found an angle, they're just better at rotating. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.